Uh, so you guys are rolling along, obviously. Defense, getting stops, transition is exciting. But you guys are first in pace, or fifth in pace, and, and first in defense. Those two usually don't go together. So, like, what are you guys doing to be able to have both of those things? Um, I feel like our chemistry is really, it is really good, and we play together on both sides of the floor. Um, on defense, we're connected. You know, we're, we're playing together. We're helping each other. Um, I, I feel like we're the aggressive, you know, in our offense, you know, we get out and we run, you know, we have a lot of other guys, the guys that push the ball, and, you know, we go. Individually, what's got you so in a zone on the defensive end? Um, you know, guarding the, one of the team's best players, you know, you got to be, you know, because they're going to be in attack mode, they're going to be aggressive the whole night, and if you don't, then they're going to get off. So, you got to, you know, stay on it. And for you, you've been less mid-range, more slashing, get to the rim, off the ball. How, how have you found a kind of a comfort zone doing that? Man, I've just been taking what defense gives me. You know, I just take the first shot that's there, it's an easy shot, and at the same time, trying to stay aggressive and, you know, keep going to the rim. What's the most important thing that you've learned from the vets since your time being here? Um, you know, just being around there, just being around these guys, preparation, you know, the stuff they do daily to prepare for the games and, you know, these moments that, we're, that we have. And, you know, there's obviously expectations coming to an organization like this the last couple of years, but this year it really feels kind of like a throwback to when they first started this stuff. So what's it like playing with that kind of um, internal expectation but also external expectations? Oh, um, man, it's good, man. We're playing, we're playing for something. You know, we got a good squad and a good chance to do, to do something special here. You know, so I'm excited to be a part of it. What's your daily motivation throughout the season? Uh, my teammates. You got win for them. <laughs> I like that answer. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're a great teammate, bro. I try. Thank you, man. Obviously, being on the floor with Steph uh, you know, a couple of nights ago, but really all the time, uh, it's a show. So how do you keep yourself engaged while that's going on? Because obviously, when he gets it going, <laughs> you obviously kind of just kind of watch him. Do, do what you got to do. Man, you just watch greatness. You know, that's all it is. You still, you know, you're still staying alert. You're still staying, you know, serve everything. Just, you know, some part you just watch it. Just, all you can do is watch, you know. And it's, it's entertaining, you know. It's not entertaining for just the fans. It's entertaining for the team, too. You know, we're in the court. We just find ourselves watching and just, like, shaking our head because it's, like, it's that unbelievable. You know, but he's playing a, you know, a different level right now. And with the synergy that you guys have, uh, you're still missing Clay. You're still missing James. Uh, yeah. What's kind of the level of anticipation to get them back into this, even with the way that you guys are playing right now? Oh man, when they come back, it's gonna be scary. You know, we're, we're already a, a really good team, and with those guys coming back, man, it's gonna be next level stuff. And and I've always wanted to ask you this, just because I'm from Cleveland. Yeah. But it seems like when you come here, you always have an extra tick up, <laughs> and, and always kind of, you know, play to another level against these guys. Um, is there any extra added stuff to that, or do you just come in and play every game the same? No, nah, I just play every game the same. I, feel like I just happen to have a good game against them. <laughs> <laughs> well, JTA is obviously not playing quite as much this season, but how have you seen him still kind of making an impact on the team, um, even though he's not playing? Yeah, well? you know, when he's on the court, you know, his impact, you know, it, it speaks for itself, you know, the stuff he does on the court. But even, you know, off the court, on the bench, you know, he's st he keeps guys motivated. He's cheering for guys, hyping guys up. and. You know, he's very active on the bench. You know, every time he's standing up, everyone makes a, whenever someone makes a good play. Um, and like I said, you know, he's he's motivating. You know, he's always gonna you know stay positive and tell you the right things. You, you, you can just tell on their faces sometimes with the shots he makes and the stuff he does. They just go back and they're just like. <laughs> Now what can you do? And it's true. What can you do? You know when he's making when he's making those shots. Is that it? Thank you.